the drinking water in West Texas is becoming scarce. So where's your drinking water coming from? Find out tonight on MPO News. to NPL News, serving New Tech, Permian, and Odessa High, along with all of our Agatha County Independent School Districts. I'm Luce Morla. And I'm Shauna Devitt. Water has been a hot topic in most West Texas communities as a severe drought continues to take its toll on drinking water supplies. Our top story today shows the extreme steps one community is taking to keep water flowing through the pipes. There has been a severe drought in Texas, but West Texas has gotten the worst of it. And in Big Springs, the water is on its last drops. Our projections are that we'll run out of surface water in about January of 2013. But the Colorado River Municipal Water District has planned ahead and started construction on a raw sewage plant. The other project that we have under construction is a, a raw water production facility. And ironically, this is a project that we started back in about the year 2000, and the scheduled completion date is December of 2012. Which is not a moment too soon, seeing as water is expected to run out one month later. The raw water plant will take wastewater from the sewers and take every last speck of sewage out of the water and then pump it back into the lakes, serving Big Springs and other surrounding cities, such as Midland and Odessa. According to Grant, this process isn't too far from what is already taking place, and drinking water will actually be cleaner than what is already coming out of our faucets. So I'll be happy when the plan is finished and it goes online to drink the first glass of water. For NPO News, I'm Luis Morla. John Grant with the Colorado Municipal Water District says that people should not worry about wastewater being mixed in with drinking water because the filtration process is so intense. And farmers are finding that it's just as difficult to keep food in the trough as it is water. This severe drought has caused a shortage of many locally grown crops, which is hurting the purse strings of area farmers. MPO's Shauna Devitt has the story. With the lack of rain and the long drought, people are leaving Texas to find many products, usually natural, to the Lone Star State. Well, everybody's getting rid of what they have right now just so they can afford to keep going. It's, it's triple what it used to cost last year just to have one cow. Not only are people selling what they have, they are also getting less hay for higher prices due to the lack of water. And last year they were a lot more compacted. So you could fit more. There's more round bill in it. Now they're just making it a lot, little bit lighter so they can make a little bit more money when they grow it. Now people are finding that this year they can only afford to get half of what they could in the past years, and it is starting to affect our livestock. It's made the cows depreciating in value because it's so expensive to have one. They, they're going for half the price of the stock show because nobody wants them because nobody can afford to feed them because it's so much more expensive just to have one horse. In 15 years that my dad's run this, he's never had anything like this. The highest he's ever gone was 12.50, and this year, 17.50. We, in all the years that he's ever done this, it's never been this high. We've never had a drought this bad. For now, hay is being shipped in from as far north as Montana and as far east as South Carolina. For NPO News, I'm Shauna Devitt. Thank you for joining us on this special broadcast report, and remember to stay tuned into NPO News. I'm Shauna Devitt, and I'm Luce Morla. Thank you. Have a good night.